But you can just get them burnt off your dick. So just keep an eye out, and whenever one pops up, just go straight down on the doctor. Yeah. Are we live, man? Live. Welcome to episode number 22. Holy fuck. Episode number 20 fucking two. That's a few. Of the fucking fully actual podcast. And 102 normally. Yeah. And man, they're, gro- they're still... Gro- Have you been reading? Have you been reading the comments? I had to read last night. Yeah, of course you did. Because that's all we fucking do now. It takes three days to read the comments. Yeah, holy We're shit. We're loving it. We've got like this po- This last podcast is heading to a thousand comments as well. We're getting a thousand comments on our podcast now. What the fuck, man? The podcast is like more popular or gets more engagement than our normal channel. Yeah. Not, there's not the likes yet. We average maybe like 550 likes. So if we could get a video to a thousand likes, that would be so sick. That would be cool. Wait. That'd be so sick, hey. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't that be crazy? Matthew? Yes. Now, this episode's a fucking ripple, right? I'm fucking engaged, cunt. I yes. did it. Yes. Congratulations. I wanted, to, I wanted to fill everyone in on the process because, man, it was a fuck's time. It was, and it's a, it's a beautiful story. And it's similar to, it reminds me of like a really intense version of The Hunt, which I'll explain. We got fucking Mon, my fiance is here. She's going to come in. You guys got some questions for her. Clap, Matt. <sighs> And then we got the fucking questions. We got prank call. It's heaps of shit, man. Yeah. We have big PO we've got, boxes. We have Dakota. Got, we've literally got like 20 fucking PO box boxes. Some of them are massive. Yeah, I'm so excited. It's going to be like the best Christmas so, ever. So, yeah, we're just going to... We just got... So, if, if you've sent us some shit, don't worry. It's probably arrived. It's probably in this massive pile, but it'll just take us a few weeks to get through. Dude. What? what? Imagine if there was Mary Jane. Yeah, that would be good. Or a yeah, huge we fucking need brick to see of that cocaine. A or huge a, brick of cocaine. A little midget named Mary Jane in one of the big boxes. I'd take that. Mm. But before we get into anything, this podcast is brought to you by fucking manscaped.com. If you want a shaver, if you want some out of battery ball rags, if you want some oh, fucking shit. spray to make you smell good, <laughs> doesn't normally do that. Go to manscaped.com and use our discount code Fully actual 20, okay? Fully actual 20, you get 20% off whatever you buy. No questions asked. Just tell them we sent you and say fully actual 20 and they give you 20%. If you spend $100, you save 30 bucks. See? That's crazy numbers, man. So go and have a look what they got. They got weird shit, all right? They got some shit that you don't even think is invented yet. And then you go on there and it is invented and you think, fuck, I kind of need that. The ball shaver, for example. Dude, comes in handy. I use it. Shaving balls has always been a fear. I did it this fear. week. So, yeah, Matt's sh- always shaving his balls with it. Perfume. It grows back Look, so aggressively. Skate. Great perfume. And this podcast is also brought to you by our subscription website, University of Michael, where we post heart- like 30-minute episodes every week, behind-the-scenes shit, videos that are too fucked to post to social media. What do we got coming out this week? We went into fucking public and paid people to try and make us laugh. Yeah, someone showed us their asshole and their dick. Well, not their dick, <laughs> because man they, sort of, they put their dick in between their legs, yeah. And we also do a reenactment of the proposal on there, all right? And a very detailed story time on the website. That's, so that's out right now while you're hearing this, all right? Mm. So yeah, it's fucking, it's, what is it? $8 US a month or something. You get 21 days free if you want to see, if you can see if you like the videos. If you don't, you just leave. Free charge, no fuss, no muss, brother. Man, and yeah, it helps us out because social media still is not, not the still greatest. Still not subscribed, is he? No. Now, also an update on the OnlyFans. Uh-huh. Now, Matt's only just gotten here, so we sort of had to fucking rip in straight away. But by the time you're listening to this, Matt's OnlyFans will be set up. Should we put the link to the in the um, the fully actual Instagram? No. <laughs> I reckon we should put it there. I don't want to. <laughs> Matt Brown. You've agreed to this. People have spent time commenting about this. You would be a selfish dog act if you pull the pin now, cunt. We never have to show nudity. Yeah, it's not going to be nudity. We're not going to peer pressure. Look, we'll push the envelope a bit. Michael's got something. I can't do it like Yeah, you've been it's been better lately, but yeah, yeah it's I don't get, get the it. microphone more. 
Right? Yeah, you can't bitch out now, Matt. And don't worry, we're not going to like make you uncomfortable. But do you want to be a star? <laughs> do you want the fame and the fortune, cunt? Then get your fucking clothes off and start an OnlyFans. No, cunt. we don't have clothes off. Just sexy, yeah, sexy just clothes. Suggestive images. I've still got that cow outfit. And like, I'm we down can, to wear it. And like, on the eventually, we can sell shit like the golly bottle on there. We can sell this. The, 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 the foam fart, on the foam mic. on the mic, yeah. All sorts of cool shit, all right? Just fucking expand your fucking OnlyFans mind, cunt. I've got no hair. Can I wear yeah, a wig? Yeah, perfect. Of course you can wear wigs. We'll slut you right up. You can be a hot librarian Aww. for one shoot. I'll be slut with you, People think dude. I'm the sickest person. <laughs> I'll be- I'm gonna have a mix of diary entries and a weird-ass OnlyFans. No one's gonna like me but at all. But think of the cash, people. cunt. Think of the cash you get, though, cunt. If we can get- what, 100 people on there, 350 bucks. Yeah, we're going to make it $3.50. That's from your feedback, all right? Um, so, maybe like if we could get 500 people on there, dude, you could retire. You I could- also have to see this from a point of view of, well, I don't want it to be shit. No, oh, dude. <laughs> I want some quality. Dude, um, okay. Let me- Don't, oh, don't put too much time. Like, it'll be good no, regardless. Just imagine, right? This fucking like- Pays, you know, we get 500 people to somehow sign up to this shit. That's three bucks fifty a month. What that? That's like fucking two and a half grand. That's, that's like, yeah, it's well, it's like, it's fucking six grand. $1,750. What did I say? Seven grand? <laughs> six grand. <laughs> you could quit normal life Dude, and then just do that. Two grand. That's like 500 bucks a week just from exposing some of your milky little flesh. Well, you don't have to expose flesh. I just want to get in that cow outfit. Yeah, yeah. And we'll we'll jump in a few, you know. I'll we'll, be in every single one with you. Yeah, Michael's real keen to get this. <laughs> <laughs> Michael's been pushing this more out yeah. of anyone, to be honest I want to get in that fucking cow outfit. So, we're going to start it. Hopefully, it'll be out. And the, we'll put the link in the YouTube description as well. All right? Let's, hopefully, it doesn't affect reach. I guess we'll, we'll find out. If this next podcast does shit... We'll know that putting an OnlyFans link in the description, fuck you. Well, I think I think putting the link for it in there does fuck around. We might have to think about that. We'll All right, well, brainst- I'll just put it as a top comment. Carl, we'll- put it as top comment in the comments of the YouTube. We'll have a brainstorm. Okay? It'll be top comment. I'll pin it to the top. Matt At Brown's least we could OnlyFans. put a way to search it. Yeah. Rather than the link. But we'll, we'll have a- we'll And this will be a good way to get people to go to the Instagram as well. Because it'll be in the fucking- We'll see. Well, I'll make a link tree for it. So we hide it a little bit. And then we've all already got a name for it. You guys picked a name. It's in the comments. Drumabaka? Makala? Oh, yeah. South Korean? There's a high uh, comment one. Exactly, um, mate. Little Brown Town little or something. Brown Town. Beautiful. <laughs> 60 Brown likes. Town. Beautiful name for your OnlyFans. Little. I love it. Well, our OnlyFans. It's the podcast OnlyFans under Matt Brown's facade. That reminds me of that, of that fucking witch. witch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was the weirdest fucking reaction. That is Dakota's best fucking friend. Michael's referring to uh, back when we used to film social experiments at university. We like pranked this this guy, and then I don't even yeah. What would you fucking? And it was just a very strange reaction. He was like, "I'm not a man. I am. I am a woman under this facade. Under this masculine facade." And, and then, then I am also a witch. And, and then, then that same person ended up getting us kicked out. Do you remember? Got that us banned from, from the all universities in Queensland. Of course, it's fucking Dakota's best friend. Yeah, Dakota and that are friends. Def- no, Wait, they cut fuck. that. I can't say that, can I? Cut that. <laughs> yeah, Dakota and they that person. Yeah, that person. That allowed to what would his name be? Maybe like um. I don't even know if they have names. I reckon. Can you say that? Like Can't Tim say that either. Serendipity beach oh, okay. bitch. Oh. Yeah, nah. I went too far with the that's, bitch. That's It'd much. It'd be serendipity. That would. That's what the. That's, that's much. Name would be. Fuck is you can't say that. Is it they? They's they name they's name would be. You're focusing on the that's and they's too okay. much. Okay. All right, yeah, so that's that's what that reminded me of. That was very funny. So the last week's gone last week. Oh fuck. I'll get into the proposal story. How about we'll do diary entries? You fucking f- f- fucking hell, Matt. You ballsed up this diary entry. I'm 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 sorry. impressed. Let me tell you, this is the first time I'm actually genuinely impressed by you, all right? You're a fucking hero. Do you understand me? Matt, do you understand me? Let's get into it. <laughs> he understands, I guess. He's got his head in his hand. 
<laughs> Matt's favourite. Diary entries. Ah! <coughs> Diary entry number 128 from Michael Corey Brookhouse. <laughs> Today I figured out that I can use my big toenails to cut up my sausages and even open <laughs> boxes. Now I don't need to dirty any knives and then have to wash them. Tomorrow I will rip the other useless toenails off so I don't have to cut them anymore. See how much time I'm saving? <laughs> that's, that's and that, now he's here. Like on. all these little science experiments through his high school, and now he's here. Like so, you know. You, you, you may be sitting at home thinking, oh, it's kind of fucked. But like, you know, proof's in the pudding. Look at him in his genius form now. He's a overqualified scientist, too qualified for our world. Do you know what I mean? He's got a, he's got a golly bottle to potentially cure cancer. Just think about that. No one's ever done it before. So you don't know. You don't know. If it's going to work or not. I know. Exactly. It's and a- now Michael doing it cancels that out. He's putting himself through that sickening sickening science experiment after sickening fucking disgusting science experiment for our benefit i'm a fucking good guy man so a thank you would be nice man <laughs> oh. diary entry number 98 from marty today i couldn't afford to pay for our school excursion to the museum and had to sit in the detention room all day the teacher that had to look after me never remembers my name and i can tell that he hates me I heard him tell the other teacher that he could have had a day off if I would have been able to go on the excursion. Then I heard him making jokes about how thin I was. I tried my best to stay out of everyone's way, but every time the teacher looked at me, he shook his head in disgust. It hurt my feelings a lot. It was a pretty good day. It was a pretty good day. It's really yeah, starting. you're always going to end. It's starting to fucking get me. Diary entry number 69 from Julian James Tennyson Woods from Ashgrove or some shit. 4060 till I die. <laughs> and he means that. <laughs> Today, my parents asked me to clean up my room. So unfair. I should be allowed to have a dirty room if I want. Plus, they haven't bought me the newest iPhone yet. And I've been asking for it for two weeks already. I got back at them by dog shotting mum in the back of the head and then slashing the tires on dad's car, his work car, his mate's cars, his brother's car, his other car, and some random truck at Coles. Then I stole mum's wedding ring and sold it. Put a hit out on my dad and set fire to the house. That'll teach him for asking me to clean my room. Stab, stab. I fucked a chick Stab <laughs> Dude That's fucking like There is half of that shit in that Is real Like that's true <laughs> Do you remember when he couldn't go to fucking like LA or some shit Did you hear about his Their parents saying No you have the house for yourself for a month here You'll be fine You'll like it better And then he threatened to fucking like I think he started pouring petrol through the house <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> Fuck, he me told me last night. I think he's told us before. And I was pissing myself, dude. <clears throat> oh, very good. Very good. All right, um, Matt Brown. Your turn. <coughs> this diary entry. He's standing. He's walking to the kitchen. He's looking back over his shoulder. Oh, he's distracted. He's got his water. He's coming back. And he's sitting down now. All right. Here we go. Diary entry number 588 from Matthew Gregory Brown. That's quite an early one, Matt. Sniff, sniff. Sniff, sniff. I was standing outside the girls' change room trying to smell which girl was menstruating when it happened. One of the year 12 boys came up behind me and pushed me hard. My head whiplashed back forcefully as my brown body lurched forwards. I threw my arms out to try and protect myself, but I slammed face first into the wall in front of me, which rocked me to my core. I fell to the floor and felt my nose bleed immediately. I heard the culprit and his friends laughing loudly as I regained consciousness. I stood and faced my attacker. Quit scaring my little sister, you creep. She's not in you, said the year 12 boy who had pushed me. I smile as I remember violently wanking into his sister's handbag recently. Is something funny, Matt? Blood was still gushing from my nose and down into my mouth, making my whole mouth red. Your sister and I will be together one day, I say. (laughs) The E12 boy immediately bursts with rage and lunges at me. I anticipate this and grab his wrists with my hands and thrust my face at his face. I bite into his cheek hard and feel my teeth scrape against 
his skull. I pull away with a chunk of cheek the size of a ping pong ball in my mouth. He drops to the ground <laughs> screaming. My little brown springs to life as it senses fear from his friends. I t- maintain a smile and eye contact with him while slowly and gently chewing on the chunk of cheek I had just torn from my fr- from their friend. Do you have any sisters? I asked them. One of them threw up and then they ran away. I looked down at the year 12 boy and my little brown started swirling around in my pants, trying to find a hole to crawl into. I spit his own chunk of cheek at him and say, tell your sister I've been watching her and I like what I see. Then I leave him behind and start bounding backwards out of the school, bounding down the hallways at great speeds, relying only on my instincts to avoid obstacles. Ignoring the startled looks from strangers, I bound backwards all the way home, reaching top speeds of 60 kilometers per hour. Once home, I tend to my sore nose, and while mopping up my bloody face, I realize something and smile. <laughs> Human cheek tastes a little like chicken. My favorite. (laughs) Bound backwards. That's fucked. (laughs) How do you bound? Can you show us, Matt? Like, can you fucking show us how you bound backwards? And I'll put it on my fucking Instagram story right now, cunt. Bound from that door to that door backwards, man. What? Bound backwards from that door to that door, man. I want to see it. I don't think I can do that. Yes, you can, Matt. It's in your diary. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> that was very good uh, very good <laughs> alright so that is now on our story you guys will probably be watching that and be like what the fuck and now, now you when you're that. hearing this you'll understand do you know what I mean Matthew Brown bounding backwards <laughs> The brown, the brown <laughs> bound. <laughs> <laughs> the backwards brown bound. <laughs> oh, that's hot. That's hot. Yeah. So oh, that's, that's the diary entries this week. Bit of a different one, wasn't it, Matt? Okay. I didn't mind that. No. It was yeah, a good story from stood school. Up, stood up for yourself. <laughs> yeah, you've Finally been so st- strong. You stood up for yourself against the bullies who were concerned that you were stalking their sisters. That was hot. Anyway. All right, so um, while we get into this uh, story, and I'll do, I'll give like the abbreviated version. Way that, that I did, I'll give like the abbreviated version, just not to bore anyone, and because it's just too detailed. We'll be here for twenty minutes if I fucking go into the whole fucking thing. Come, so this is basically like a hunt. So this is how I plan to propose to Monique. All right, uh, planning this started like a year ago because I had a feeling it would take a while. All right, and her favorite musician, her favorite artist is Amy Shark, like fucking obsessed. Like, it's fucked. Like, real grossly, sickeningly obsessed with it. Marty's jealous. <laughs> <laughs> like, goes to every concert. Like, you know, it's just a super fucking fan. Okay? Massive fan. Am I right? Massive. The beanie girl. Anyway. The beanie girl. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, like, wears the same beanie to each concert so that in hopes that she'll be recognized as, like, the person with a beanie. Okay, <laughs> that was something that she did. So anyway, I start messaging Amy Shark on fucking Instagram, thinking, oh, you know, it'll be easy. I'll get a reply and ask her if she can give us like a private event for when I propose. Impossible to get through. Never checked any DMs, and it was just like taking so long. I emailed her management, her manager was like, "Oh, sorry, we don't do stuff like that." And I was like, "I knew the only way to do it was to get through to Amy." So I saw her hanging out with Mick Fanning one day on her Instagram stories. I know that Mick follows us on Instagram. Right? Mick Fanning's the guy, the he's a famous surfer for our international fans. Yeah, so this is like a hunt. The one who fought a shark. This yeah, is, he this is a, a fucking shark. This is a fucking hunt, basically. This is the be- biggest <laughs> hunt we've done. <laughs> we've done. Yeah. This, and, and so I tell him, hey, mate, I see you with Amy. Can you get her to check her DMs from me? He does that, thank fuck. And that's what fucking Snowball started this shit, okay? Whoa. She was so- like... She was like, all right, email my manager. I tell her that I sent you, blah, blah, blah. So, go through that process again. And it is a fucking back and forth, all right? It is like months of back and forth, negotiating the price, negotiating all this other shit. They didn't want me to film it to begin with. They said, you can do it, but there's no footage allowed to to be made there of, of the whole event. So, I was like... You know, I'm paying all this money, all this organizing, and right. I just want it for personal use. I don't want to fucking, I don't want to necessarily post it to the world. I just want to have for it. For memories. To, yeah, for memes. <laughs> so she said, all right, well, you can film it and you can take photos, but you're not allowed to post any of the footage. So that's why you guys haven't seen any of the actual footage. But photos, we got fuck photos, right? <laughs> so, so anyway, I tell Mon that 
we're, there's a Facebook event in Sydney and I say, oh, do you want to come? It's a little Facebook event. There's no Facebook event. I'd hired a hotel in Sydney. I was going to get Amy to come, let the get the concierge to let her up into the room and then me and Mon come in and then Amy Sharks just playing on the fucking balcony, her favorite artist, and then, you know, I propose. Anyway, so that's the plan. Everything's locked in. Then like th- three or four months ago and then sure enough, as we get closer to the date, fucking coronavirus, lockdown in Sydney. Again, for the hundredth time. Fucking fucked me up hard, right? Like, and, and then I call the manager. I'm like, fuck, you know, what are we going to do? Luckily, Amy was touring in Queensland. So, she was stuck here now in Queensland. So, I was like, all right, well, let's just quickly... Mon had seen the show in Queensland a like week a, earlier. Exactly. And was just going on about it. <laughs> and so, I book it in. So, I was like, she's like, all right, she's free Thursday. So, go for Thursday. And then I was like, all right, fuck. I've got four days to organize an entire new proposal. We do, I do it. And then two days later, fucking lockdown kicks in in Brisbane. Three-day lockdown. So, the three-day lockdown ended after Thursday. So, Friday was meant to be everything opens up again. Call Amy's Sharks manager again. Uh, what are we going to do? She's like, oh, let's try for the next day. So, then I have to cancel everything and then reorganize everything for the next day again. And Fuck then around. wouldn't you fucking know it, the Thursday, the day before I was meant to do it, they extend the lockdown by a day. So then I call Amy Sharks manager again. I'm like, what the fuck, man? What are we going to fucking do? And she's like, well, you're lucky. She's free again <laughs> tomorrow night, right? This is the last chance I have. So it gets to midday. I reschedule everything for Saturday. Gets to midday on Saturday and I'm fucking pacing around the lounge room. We find out whether lockdown's lifted or whether they're extending it again. And she opens with, oh, there's been five new community, whatever cases, blah, blah, blah. So I was like, fuck, I'm fucked. But then... Thank fuck. Lockdown was lifted and then boom, it was just all systems go. We fucking, I teed it up. I got my friends, James and Christina to make the room look real pretty. I went there with mine. She thought we were going there to celebrate a friend's birthday. We go up to the room. We open the fucking door. I take her out to the balcony and there is Amy Shark playing a fucking song. And then I say, oi, what do you reckon, bro? Want to get married? And then bang. You said you fully forgot what you were going to say. Yeah, I had this whole speech and shit prepared, but I fucking... Why didn't you have a bit of paper? Because it's like, it's shit if you pull a bit of paper out. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> I prepared a speech. And, yeah. then, and then fucking here we are. So fucking good on me, can't I? Fucking well that done, That is a hunt and a half, can't I? <laughs> good job, mate. <laughs> and what'd she say? She said, yeah. And yeah. Well, and should we, we and we'll get her on? We, which, all right, well, let's do because yeah, we're doing questions soon. So we'll get we'll get her on right now. So, well, everyone, fuck it. She's nervous as fuck right now. Get her on, my fucking fiance, Amy Shark. <laughs> <laughs> all right, now I put a post in the website group um, and told you guys that Amon's um, coming on. So these are some of the questions that you guys wanted to ask Amon. Um, by the way, Mon, what did you think when... Um, tell everyone what went through your head when we opened the door. Because you, she was like, hey, expecting her friends to be in there. And then at the, <laughs> at the end of the hey is when she saw Amy. She said, hey. Oh, shit. Did and that then, hey sound cool enough? <laughs> yeah. And then she, then all the fucking... Yeah. She went all fucking shy and fucking confused and shit. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> what, what went through your head, babe, when, when you fucking came in? God, this wig is fucking me off. I thought my friend Cynthia was playing the guitar on the balcony. <laughs> Cynthia doesn't play guitar. <laughs> and then when you realized, what did you think then? Did you know? Yeah, straight away. But you had no idea for all these months I've been planning. There was even once we were fucking watching something on my laptop and like I minimized something and there's oh. like a fucking, I forget, it was like an email from Amy Shark's manager or a receipt for the ring or something was up. Oh. And I was like, oh my God. Fucking get out of it. <laughs> no idea. I have really bad eyes. Yeah, That's and why just, I oh, he's Amy. watching porn. And so gullible too. Like I could just fucking. Hi. It's so good. I can just do whatever. I, I can say whatever I want, and she'll believe it. It's true. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yes, yeah, so you had no idea leading up to it. No, None. not even an inkling. No. Even so that, that day, as, as soon as you saw and walked in, obviously, you're like, oh, he's gonna propose. Yeah, yeah. straight away. Yeah. <laughs> and here we fucking are. All right, let's get into some questions for Mon. My fiance, isn't it fun to say? Have you been saying it heaps? Yeah. yeah. Sometimes I say it when it's not even like in a sentence. It makes no sense. Yeah, I can How say. are you, mate? Fiance. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, 
first question is from Julian Woods. <clears throat> I'm in a bit of debt to some weird sorts. Could I have your ring to definitely not hock at cash converters for various banned substances under the Australian Government's Drugs and Misuse Act 2006? No. No, Julian, you can't have that. Okay. All right. This question's from Andrew Camilleri. Does Michael have a completely different side to what he's like on social media? Pretty much the same. Really? Yeah. yeah, see, everyone always is like, surely you're not like this fucked at home. I am fucked at home. Uh, Tyson Turnbull, has Arnold Fine ever paid a visit in the bedroom? Oh. Would you like that? Yes. Arnold Fine. Arnold Fine. <laughs> Jordan Catton, at what point did you realize you were marrying a zoophiliac? What's that? I think when you want to fuck animals. Yeah, I think they're more referring to the, the cow. Yeah, yeah, all right. Yeah, that's a good point. When did you realize I had a, um, a huge fish. lust for cows? You didn't know it all, no. did you? I sort of snuck that one in. <laughs> Brandon Plows. How do you still find this guy attractive after all the sick things he has been involved with? Yeah, that's a fair question. That must be sickening. Some of the things you see, he, see me do and him do, you must be just fucking disgusted. No, I'm also Michael. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do more of the grosser yeah. things. Yeah, yeah, but like the one. the farting and the oh, like, yeah, the squirties, but and the characters, that's like, that's like a talent. some of the yeah. characters like must be just so sickening. Yeah, Dakota. What's your most sickened character? Darren is there? Yeah, Darren. Yeah, yeah Darren, Darren was yeah, pretty yeah, tough. Sleaze bag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, doesn't he bring him out at the shops when you're All shopping and shit? Yeah, Darren's always oh. around. Can't. <laughs> <laughs> He's a good dad, but He's a fucking good dad though. No, no, serious. Imagine being like that around. <laughs> no, no, yeah, Darren's a fucking great dad. Can't. He's always fucking looking after her. Can't. Brings her in when he's at the pokies. Oh. I've got some engagement related questions from comments. Yeah, okay. Uh, Sarah S asked, um, Have you guys started planning your wedding yet? And is Michael invited? <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if Michael wasn't invited. Well, Marty's left that up to me now. So, yes. Yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> Fucking oath. I had to plan that proposal. It took me like a year yes. of. It was like a second job for a couple of months. Yeah. That, that's. that's Isn't isn't that well, don't my you get job? wedding that? planners to get the wedding? Yeah. Yeah. yeah so. My sister. <laughs> is she a wedding planner? Well, sort of. Yeah. She's very organized. Mm. <clears throat> Jack Moore, do you ever find Marty overwhelming or is he normal outside of the videos? Mm. I'm pretty annoying at home. Yeah, the ADD is a bit rough. But What's the most annoying thing I do at home? Wasn't he like the other day coming down and he's in a different position in the lounge room? Oh, yeah. every time I walk down the lounge room, he's just staring at a wall. <laughs> <laughs> I started this thing where, when, when I can hear Mon coming downstairs yeah, yeah. and I'm in the lounge room, I'll quickly stand up and just put, stand in a really strange position and just be like like 10 centimetres away from a wall yeah, and pretend time. I've just been standing there staring at it the whole time. And then just... I like that. I'm kind of immune that's to it now. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. I feel like you, rather than get annoyed, yeah. you just become immune to them. Because even Esther, like I'll do some of the fucking <laughs> best... Most fucking disgusting sounding loudest farts, and neither of them will even turn around to acknowledge me anymore. It's fucked up. It's like I'm so, sometimes I'm standing there with my like in fucking shock that they that they're just still talking normally, like nothing's it's, fucking happened. It's not because you get so much attention from yeah, us the, yeah, exactly. You guys have spoiled me with attention, and now when I go home, it's like oh yeah, it's just it's, that's that's what every half an hour that sound happens. It's pretty We've fucked. We've overdone it. We've overdone it. Oh my god. <clears throat> um, I do have another question. Was I can't remember. Sorry, I can't remember who said it, but I remember the question. Um, they were asking, um, would any of uh, your fans or or members of the website be invited to the wedding? <laughs> yeah. What do you reckon? That? What do you reckon, babe? Should we uh, run a competition and uh, maybe a member can come to the wedding? Yeah. Holy shit! <laughs> that's a cool idea. And they can be the MC. Oh, that was Peter Hunt, sorry, who asked that. Fucking Peter Hunt, brother. Um, James Dorrington, do you kiss him when he comes home from work? Are you aware of what he does for a living? Yes. Yeah, sure, you're pretty yeah. good with it. And even after I show the videos, you like it. Hey, when I'm a bit of a sick fuck. Yeah. yeah exactly. Sarah Kate Irons, is Marty more tamed at home? Yes, definitely. Yeah, a little bit. I can't, I can't keep this energy up. I'd be fucking dead, cunt, wouldn't I? 
Do you ever think that Marty has gone a bit too far? <laughs> <laughs> AFL grand final was pushing it, maybe. Oh, really? That's yeah. about it. You're but right? I was proud of you. Yeah, you were pretty happy. Your yeah. whole family was super happy. Just S is a bit risky. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She didn't understand, even understand. Your dad made me a shirt. John o. Jaws Wallace, will we see you join the boys in one scientific or prank video? And congratulations, Ring Queen. Well, thank you. <laughs> You're the it... Ring Queen. Now. Ring Queen. Oh. I like that. Ring Worm Queen. I saw the a Ring saying Queen. saying surely she'd put her at as Ring Worm Monique now. <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh, uh, is Marty a sexually aggressive lover? Do uh, do people recognize you in public often? <laughs> Not me, but you guys, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> She's all bloody nervous. I'm so nervous. I don't like being <laughs> to... Yeah, no, it's scary. I it can just scary. sing, I don't speak. <laughs> it's different. Sorry, guys. What's your, what's your favorite thing about Marty that made you say yes? <laughs> Amy Shark. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah, I knew. She, there's no way she's yeah. saying, uh, fucking organise that. No, yeah. too. And she yeah. was real nice too about it. She stayed back and had she's a bloody coming to the wedding? drink with us. Yeah, that's yeah. what she said. I, I don't know. Babe. Fuck, that'd be cool. Yeah. She was really chilled. Really chilled yeah, out. she's so nice. Yeah, she was super lovely. Super lovely person. Love but um, yeah, so that's the proposal story. And now um, we're fucking engaged. So fucking hell. Congratulations. There it is. She called the ring up. And we're getting married now. This is a shotgun this wedding. Bring in the, the priest. priest. Bring in the priest. <laughs> Would you do it? Nah. <laughs> no way. <laughs> I'll let you answer that one. Okay, bye. All right. Thank you for coming on, Mon. See you, Mon. Um, question for the podcast from Vittori Balzani, who also invited us to Italy when the um, lockdown disappears all right cheers for the invite um why do you legends think australia is producing most of the best pranksters in the world are we apparently um there's some good there's some very good ones in america ross creations is fucking unbelievable the shit he does lorf he's yeah, the og lorf, lorf is he doesn't really do that many pranks anymore uh, he did one the other day sorry yeah, but yeah, it'd be nice to see him go back to his pranking roots. He, yeah, he sort of vlogs it now. But Nelk, anyway. obviously, massive fucking um, yeah. yeah. But um, yeah, I guess I guess just the Aussie culture, we're just a bunch of fucking loose larrikins, can't who love a fucking beer, right? And then things get a bit loosey goosey, and fucking cunts, cunts start fucking getting fucked up, cunt, cunts, all the fucking larrikins come out, cunt. Mateship, man. Yeah, mateship and honour. Pride for our country. Sins. <laughs> Sins. Southern fucking cross. S- oh. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. <laughs> Please. Next question from JC Pablo. Um, what do we have to do to convince you boys to consume mushrooms on the podcast? Dude. We've <laughs> Would had, you do we've it? We've got... I've, yeah. Like, Ma- well, look. Maybe we should... Look, I- I'm... I'm on the fence. Makes me feel sick. Like I, I need to vomit. I get all nauseous. It's hard yeah, to we talk. get we're, like because it's because it's it. we've done mushrooms a few times, and the times we've done them, we don't turn into we don't we're not like whoa we, yeah we, we it's it's a very like solitude drug for us. Like we just fuck it's you, you just go on your own fucking journey. You don't it's not like a social drug. It's a, medi- yeah, it's a medicine, not like a party drug. Yeah, you're just trapped in your own head. But like you know, <laughs> you'd be better off doing acid. Uh, yeah, or, or same something thing. else. Yeah, acid yeah. would be the same thing. Mushroom same. Thing. But like, um, what could we do? What, what maybe like um, DMT because it's over in fifteen minutes. Ketamine. Ketamine. <laughs> We're gonna do ketamine <laughs> on the pot, dude. For because- the season finale, we'll do. We'll get some fucking ket. No, you can't do the, the season finale. Why? Why? We'll talk about it later. <laughs> Not on camera. We'll, oh, do, we'll do it off camera and then. Come. Yeah, because ketamine only lasts about forty minutes, which is perfect, and. We can just do a little bit more if we need it and you can judge it and we won't be drinking. So, it's like- Imagine you if won't we feel went sick. to a K-hole, man. Dude. We'd probably so come good. up with some whack but, shit Oh, on ketamine. Yeah. Remember last time? Yeah, yeah. We were playing cricket or something. Yeah, it was very It's going to be a tough night for me. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. You fucking oath, man. Um, next question <laughs> is from Aaron Gonzalez. Uh, who do you boys reckon will win bet- in a fight to the death between a silverback gorilla and a grizzly bear? Fucking great question. I've often wondered. I think it would be a case by case. I reckon the the bear claws. Yeah, but the gorilla, fuck. Speed yeah, I'd probably go. The claws would start digging in because they'd probably be just as strong as each other. 
Maybe the gorilla are a bit like stronger. Silverback's a bit stronger. Yeah, yeah, but think about it, you throw a swing at me and then you grab me and then I just start clawing at you with my bear claws. You'd start bleeding out. I get the right artery. You're dead. Yeah, I feel the bear's got it. Just all right. If, yeah, a big. It's a big fucking bear. Big fuck off bear. Just. just Great question. Sorry. Yeah, I did enjoy that. Um, next question is from James Starr. What forms of bacteria grows in Michael's crevices in his body? E. coli, salmonella, and there's a few other that have never been identified yet. Um, we've sent them off to some of the labs that we have, um, and they're still like it broke. Some one of them broke the machines. And um, like the computer just literally spits out the report and it's just a page of question marks. <laughs> Decoder would like it. So it's like, it's fucking, there are some, <laughs> there are some unknown entities on him, cunt. Do you know what I mean? And that's like, There's that's, life that's the tr- like, that's boring to you guys, but like, that's our life. Like we, when the podcast done day to day, we're in the lab analyzing bacteria and doing all that shit behind the scenes. And then we come up with these groundbreaking experiments like the corn shit corn experiment and all that shit so fucking boring but it needs to be done though man we don't talk about it much but our labs are huge yeah like and they've all got michael's bacteria in them and there's some yeah some shit no one knows where it is no it's never been seen on earth before it's new that's what the computer said the computer said that to me ew new yeah next question is from matthew cook uh, what happened to ending with videos with see you guys next week? Apparently, you used to do that Maybe a lot. we didn't do that in the last... He's talking about our website videos. Or yeah. maybe he's talking about our fucking normal we'll videos. See you guys next week. Yeah, we normally say that. And you'd attack... You look like you're about to attack Michael, I, I think. think. it's... It's probably it's, just happened a few times at the end and he's... Well, on the website, we pretty much say it religiously every at the end of every video. On social media, I don't think we do now. But like, if every video is different. If it's a science experiment, we normally do. Anyway, who the fuck cares? Sorry. You've hurt his feelings, Sorry. Michael. Yeah, Sorry. is everything all right yeah, at but home, fucking hell. You're very angry today. Sorry. All right, next question is from Sabrina. Don't get angry. Um, can I please have the flies from the golly bottle for my dead fly collection? What a fucking way to die, <laughs> cunt. Imagine oh. f- swimming around in that. Imagine Where being is a it? human in the mucus. No, Where the fuck I'm not is getting it? Any, like, nah, yeah. people are getting all upset. Yeah, yeah we'll have a break it, today. No, I just, bringing it back, though. Look, well, I, I, the other day. Show Mon? I, 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 yeah, that's, I sort of want to see Mon's uh, for, like, face Mon, to face. Mon, you sit here quickly and we'll show you something from a distance? We try not to show oh, the normal right. viewers. And we just want to record your reaction. Is that okay? Oh, man. I don't know if I want don't to see show it. it. Don't show her yet. It has to be first view when she sees it. Is this possible to happen, Mon? Yeah. Oh, man. It's, I yeah. love seeing new people's reactions. On Monday, it. I came in and Michael had, there was a glass, like a glass half full of golly on the table. And I was like, like, what are you starting? Another one He's like, no, no. He just has like a little portable glass that he gollies into in. and then he fills it and tops the other bottle up. It's well, you don't fucks, want to fucking undo the golly bottle too often every time. you're right because the smell release is that smell it's too bad like i can't handle that shit anymore it's gotten real bad am i bringing it over no. <laughs> how much money would it cost for you to smell it mon don't do it mon it's fucked it's the how, worst thing i'd ever. feel bad do you, have a, smell do you have a smell she'll end the engagement do you want to have a smell yeah i think you would gag it's so different. So it's not what you'd expect. It's like, yeah, it's hard I to explain. Of, like, talking about it makes me want it. Yeah, here, I can but see. I, know the I can audience see. He's, gets mad. I can see he's getting excited talking. It's like it. I haven't smelt it for a while, and yeah. like, oh, I want to oh, 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 oh. see it. I, I wanted to share. Oh man, it, it hasn't been open for a few days, so the smell would be very. Now nah, oh. let's just move on, okay? We'll okay. fucking the golly All bottle. Right. We'll save it for next week when it's so filled the, to but the now brim. Now the viewers are like, fuck! I wanted to see Mon's reaction to it. Okay, quickly come sit here, Matt. You go get it. Oh, man, we'll just get it so you can see. And we won't show the golly bottle on camera. Sort of. Oh, my God. Sw- <coughs> swirl it around a bit. Yeah, like turn it upside down. Oh, there's flies in the top. Okay. Yeah, that's just That's enough. Good. Okay, that's enough. Holy fuck. <gasps> I nearly fucking gagged, man. Holy no. fuck. I nearly gagged. I'm looking at it. <laughs> Mom, so upset at you. Oh, my God. <laughs> Money, oh. you never Just the way it. it fucking moves. I know it's so thick. It's like it's so. Thick. It's like a wa- like so, octopus. So, oh, I touched it. So wavy. Oh, and there's a head. <laughs> yeah, that much- that's the weekend okay. effort. Okay. okay. Oh, 
It's fermenting. Oh. Yeah. And that's the cure for cancer. Don't Maybe. get Maybe. It might be the cure for cancer, all right? So we can't gag. Because they ne- might be administering that to skin cancers all ne- over the world one day. Ne- Fair enough. We've got to boil it down into a thick paste. <laughs> I've got a headache. <laughs> a right. thick paste. All right. Actually, is there any more questions? I've yep. got a question here that someone wanted that didn't get through to people. Um, what was the most fucked up each of you have been on a podcast? Also, which video... One, the website were you most drunk or high for? The season one were pretty much fucked every episode. <laughs> yeah, season one was definitely. Yeah, we we heavy. would we'd be sinking, you know what? I'd have a fucking two bottles, of, <coughs> two bottles of wine ready to go. If I you remember, g- there was a, the most fucked, and I, I haven't watched back on this episode. Yeah, I get but scared. But I remember watching him. There was one where we did a bit of Charlie before, and I looked so agitated. You know when you're fucking on uppers like okay and you can't stop moving and i'm like picking at my teeth i'm like like he's on itchy. ice or yeah, something like, like i'm on ice like he's on like ice or something there's been so a- that's probably the most because i couldn't really like concentrate yeah so i don't know what number which one it was yeah just i've been just sober for all one. of them and you can tell which ones are the ones that are going to be iffy because you, it would get to the point where it just very loud very out of control <laughs> like <laughs> banging loud like screaming and everything like and it is pretty funny i have to admit they were pretty good but yeah we were quite fucked up most podcasts in season one and season two and season two oh, we yeah. started two. we started and um we we're getting high though for a while season two so we weren't yeah. getting as i think you leaned off in season two and then you laid off towards the end of season yeah two. yeah well when we came back after our break that's pretty much when we've been sober doing the podcast since and let me tell you oh. we've never been fucking happier so yeah well cool. we've been marijuana and that's- yeah yeah you know that's nothing yeah. That's like fucking waking up in the morning, cunt. All right, let's keep it going. Um, Yannick, oh, I can't say the last name, maybe Walsh. Have a go. Uh, Walshton? Walsh. Perfect. Yeah, that's um, it. <laughs> when are you guys going to invest in some better podcast chairs? Yeah, that's so true. It's like, <laughs> it's like we... we I, I know that. I know that no, we No, no, sh- because we always whinge about them. Oh, yeah. I know that we should buy well, these. Are, some of yeah. these, sometimes you just... Like, we, we have the means to go out and buy new chairs, but we just couldn't be fucked sometimes. It's like the dishes. Like, I cooked <laughs> pasta the it's other like day. the dishes. And I didn't realize I had to take out the plastic underlining in the new pot. So, I've cooked the pasta in the pot. <laughs> oh, my God. And I had the lights off because my lights don't work because I can't be fucked changing the lights. <laughs> so, I'm eating the pasta in the lounge room in the dark watching TV. <laughs> oh, my God. And then halfway through, and I was like, this fucking pasta tastes... Like, it just tastes shit. Plastic. Yeah. And it, yeah, it tastes real artificial. And then halfway through, I was like, okay, I'm done with that. In the morning, I go to the kitchen when the lights are on again, because it's daytime. And oh the my fucking- Oh God, dude. I look in and the pasta was cooked all through and there's this plastic lining burnt all around oh the edges of, of the Oh my God. Pot. You burnt the packet. No, the no. Plastic there was in plastic the pot. in the pot when you buy it new. Oh, you didn't take the plastic out. No, because yeah. I was high as ball. <laughs> Michael ate some plastic. But then, like, I was, you know... You, you You're fucking I don't understand yourself. this, how people clean up after they cook. Because now that pot's still there with all the pasta in it, it's starting to generate mold. Oh, but it's too much effort. Yeah, yeah. No, it's... it's Look, it's Michael's all about saving time. And um, so, Michael just throws his dirty dishes in the bin and then just <laughs> goes and buys new, new ones. ones. No, I just let them sit there for a long time. <laughs> little experiment. Then eventually, little, I clean them. Little there? experiments and then yeah, he Yeah, you can go get oh. it. Go get it. <laughs> Here we go. Go get it. It's got mold all through the, it. Yeah, this, this house is... What, what happened at Michael's last place was the light bulbs just eventually blow as they do in houses and michael just never gets them changed so michael's house the last house there's only like one or two working lights in that house so come night time it was so dark and it slowly started happening to this place now all right matt's holding the pot let's have a look inside so that's the mold oh, yeah. generating the bottom oh my god you would have eaten so much of that dude and this is the plastic there's not much plastic left. You must have ate a lot. Yeah, man. you melted it through like a creamy sauce added to the pasta. I'm amazed you didn't get sick. You still might. It still might yeah. be uh, still in your stomach because your bile can't we- uh, fucking so wear yeah. it down. Can't so. See, now I'll put the pot here. You forget and it about it. It stays there. 
Yeah, no. No, I get it, man. It's fucking hard being clean, Callum. Um, quick fire question. <laughs> uh, Lake McBogan asked, would uh, anyone take a sip of that golly bottle for the final episode? I think we all know the answer to that. I don't... Oh, uh, that's if it lasts that long. It'd be I feel pretty like, cool. I feel like it's destined for something great, that bottle. Yeah, I know. Maybe we should... Something will happen. It. Glad you're getting into it. It's shoot good. it into space or something. You gag at it, but you still love it. Someone also... also uh, Dylan so offered $1,000 if Michael takes a sip. Oh, really? So we could no, hold him to that. It's from his mouth. It's just going yeah, back to its I, home. Yeah, I think that, the, the, yeah, it's generating shit, though. Oh, it's, yeah. It's getting, it's building a foam. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, yeah, evolving. Rick Standoff asked, Marty, do you ever catch Bosley flicking around in the backyard? No, nah, he's very, he, Bosley prides himself on holding very still mostly. And usually I catch him, I look at him and his head will remain completely still and only his eyes will dart across the room. Yeah. And that's how he is, mostly. Next question is from Taylor Dow. He uh, asked, when you used to fuck with Michael when he falls asleep from being drunk a lot? Um, Used to stick cigarettes in his mouth and all kinds of stuff. Oh, man. Um, How does he not wake up from something like that? Yeah, I get get why that's confusing to people. A lot of people. Michael would go on fucking four-day benders and literally not sleep. And then he would come home. I'd be there. And then he would fucking pass out. And yeah, it seems ridiculous, but he would literally be that fuck. He'd, it I'd wouldn't even have to be a four-day bender. Like If I have a big enough night on alcohol, yeah. I am out. That's it. And sometimes you like I'd be- anything you want. Like, I'd be like slapping him and shit and he would be unresponsive. And I'd watch him piss himself. I'd be just watching him. He actually saw it in real time. Yeah. So look, 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 just- I remember you saying that one time. But like, yeah. And there were so many times when I didn't even film it. They were just- It was my favorite. Fuck, I loved doing that. It was like, I get so excited because it's just, I can do whatever I want and it's funny and you won't wake up. I still remember the fucking thong hits. Yeah. <laughs> slamming him with fucking thongs and, and that Christmas that one time when me and James, I pretty much just Michael passed out like 4am on Christmas day and he's just fucking lying there. I colored his face in with a permanent marker. <laughs> And got a salt bottle and poured the entire salt. His mouth was cracked slightly open and just poured salt into his mouth. Fucking hilarious. Extra <laughs> dehydrated. <laughs> and he just wakes up in the morning the cackling and fucking opens, cracks another beer cunt. <laughs> and he completely colored my face in. It was all permanent marker, no, no <laughs> bare skin. Uh, next question is from Jasmine Ralph. Um, she asked me, uh, what does my girlfriend think of my diary entries? <laughs> Um, I don't think she's listened to a lot of them, but I did show her the animated version of one and she said that's sickening. <laughs> oh, when you go to milk yourself, that's a good scene. Yeah. From my flesh stick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. I like that question. <sighs> um, uh, Hilly Kush asks, is Michael going to be the best man at the wedding? Oh, we'll have to wait and see. Everything's undecided at the moment. Yeah, fuck, isn't that hard? Like the whole... Imagine if you have a wedding and it's like there's this whole best man mentality. That's so difficult. Like... Oh, yes. Okay. Um, this question was from Turkey Monkey and it gave me an interesting idea as well. Um, can you guys do a Wim Hof challenge anyway? big, Not a big deal. He goes, proper breathing techniques, but in the ba- in a bath full of piss and ice. I saw this. So, comment. then I was like, oh, well, that's interesting. Uh, and he goes, maybe even frozen piss too. So, I said, oh my God, ice piss, ice piss baths. Who can last the longest? See, that's great. You know, <laughs> but like, it's not that bad and it's not visually but amazing. But imagine- Taking the time to piss into a bath, letting that smell and oh, shit build up. Right. Who's going to last the it. longest in that frozen piss We could buy it, Marty. We'll buy those. What are they called? It'll take weeks. The to barrels. Fill. Yeah. And we'll, uh. Did you see Steve-O? I saw on his Instagram. He's He's got um, he's got like, uh, f- like 50 mm. huge gallon bottles full of piss. And what's, the, what's he going to do? He's going to swim in his own piss or something? No, he's going to... Like jump into it or not something? Not piss. This is pubes he's got. So no, no. He's also got piss. He's oh, also wow. got so piss. I saw it on Steve too. Will Do It's story. He's saving his piss. I've fucking forgotten the reason, but he's got like, I reckon 50 huge bottles full of his own piss and he's been saving it for ages. I think you... I don't know. I haven't seen anyone See, else do so that. not so weird. 
Yeah, I know. Yeah. yeah, I haven't seen anyone come up with that idea. Uh, an ice. Everyone's doing ice baths. Why not instead of water, fill it with piss? I would be able to do that easy. Easy. Harder, I, I would in there. Suck. It's a smell though. Yeah, I would the suck built at the, up smell. See, I'd suck at the cold, but I'd be fine with the wheat. Yeah, so see, Marty's good with the cold. It could be, be a, good. Yeah, that'd be a good level. Marty versus Michael comp. Yeah. <laughs> probably website. Probably website. Yeah. Piss bar. Uh, and yeah, that's it. I also, so. before we move on from the questions, I saw this question on the last podcast and it also reminded because some people just DM and ask us about it. They want to know if we have any like hints for if we have if we're having poor mental health and i saw this question too and i was had like a fair few likes so um you know when when we have our fucking you know we don't really talk about mental health because everyone's fucking what are we going to say that's not already been said you know everyone has it it's it's fucking hard but i guess for me personally when we're going through a fucking tricky time to just cut out all piss and drugs and to um find fun shit to do yeah, find activities to do. And it's yeah. always a bit shit. Oh, to Marty, start with. you've told me healthy eating as well. Yeah, of course. Yeah, sport. try and be as good to yourself as you can. Yeah, and just, sport is fun. Yeah, do, just do fucking distract yourself with as much fun shit as you can. Like exercise helps. But like, you can make everyone's like, oh, I don't want to go to the gym. You can make exercise fun. Yeah, invent oh, yeah, a look sport. At yeah, God, I love Toka. Toka, <laughs> we fucking play tennis two, three times a week now. We're fucking like, there's just games galore. Come. It's like replacing bad habits with good habits. It's common sense. Yeah, and it's what like, your mum says when you're a little boy. Yeah, and, and you know, a lot of people, it's like, and you know, when we cut right back on drinking, it was like, uh, what are we going to do now? What are we going to fucking do? And then for a little while, it's, it's a, it is a bit shit, but you fucking get used to it and then shit gets fun. And- yeah, the good old trusty fucking Mary Jane. Like, saves yeah, your day yeah, too. and weed too. You, yeah. Like, you don't have a fucking hangover. You feel like it makes like life ten percent funner. You can still fucking operate, so you're not hammered drunk. It's fun. Yeah. Anyway, if you yeah got bad mental health, maybe start smoking weed and push the boost. Yeah, well, just see because people react differently. It might make you feel better, and just you know take take in fucking baby and natural stuff, weed, huh? not synthetic shit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's it's exactly right. It's sustainably sourced. That'd be nice. <laughs> All right. Well, next time we're going to achtulieber, achtulieber, josh, josh, josh. Everyone with me. Achtulieber, achtulieber, josh, josh, josh. Great energy, everyone. Right. This is a segment where we read out really common German phrases. Well, Michael reads them out. I'm going to attempt to understand what he's saying. And then we uh, tell you what they mean. And this is just how Germans talk. It's very normal over there. Yeah, it might sound a little funny to you guys. But just remember that this is someone else's culture, okay? Millions of people talk like this, behave like this. And uh, no one laughs over there. It's just how some people are, like my extended families over there. So just um, bear that in mind and try not to be too um, offensive, even when it does sound a bit uh, funny. All right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'll try my best, man. All right. <clears throat> Here we go. Niemand kann do das Wasser retten. Something about no one can. Something about water. No one can something water. Not oh bad. my god, I did it for the first time. Read it again. Read it again. Niemand kann do das Wasser richer. 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 That's the word that stumped me. Not bad German though. And your intensity was quite spot on. Yeah, the yeah, intensity is definitely trying to be really peaceful and loving. And if you go into a pub and hear strangers talking, that's the volume they'd be talking at. May I have the sheet? <laughs> yeah. Niemand kann dir das Wasser reichen! Niemand kann dir das Wasser reichen! Reichen! Which means nobody can reach you the water. See, you and said that is so true. You said something about nobody and then water. So yeah. that's pretty much same nobody thing. is which which means nobody is as good as you, nobody is as successful as you. Right? So once someone says, Niemand kann dir das Wasser riechen! They're saying, it's a compliment. They're saying, oh, you're doing really well in life. So if you hear that, <laughs> say thank you. <laughs> oh my God. You fucking germs. And, oh, all right. Here we go. 
fuck they're hard to like i can't understand it but I'm you just got to relax that tongue and go for it baby ich glaube ich spine spine ich ah ich glaube ich spinne yeah you know what it means? I think so. Yeah, yeah say it. Um, I think, um, ich glaube ich bin it, which means like, um, I think, I think I'm going crazy, something along those lines. Spine. Spine. Ah, oh, sh- yeah, but it literally means. I oh think yeah, I'm yeah, nuts. but yeah, yeah, but but it literally translates to I think I spider. So this is how I um, this is how you would say it. Ich glaube ich spinne. And um, that's what you would say if you're like, yeah, confused about something. Ich glaube ich spinne, which, yeah, that's, it's a weird one. You know what I mean? Look, I'll agree with you that that is a strange one to say, but yeah. that's what it means, all right? I don't normally say they're strange, so like that, but that one's pretty weird. Yeah, look, maybe let's not talk about that one again. Uh, Matt? Sorry. Thank you. Fucking, it just... I get like angry looking at it when I have to. <laughs> okay, yeah. Just okay. remember, uh, try not to be too offensive. It so, is the first language um, yeah. I used to speak. <laughs> so. uh, yeah, no, it's because I don't know. It's it's born there. What age did you learn You've English? You've got to get angry to say it. When we moved to Australia, I was thrown into qua- straight into the deep end, right? And I still remember the day mum dropped me off at the kindergarten <laughs> and I didn't speak a word of fucking English. And I was like, <laughs> oh, shit. And I was like, you <laughs> You're going to fucking leave me here with all these fucking monsters and I don't understand a word that they're fucking saying. Bullshit, really? Like, what, did you just walk in and it was like, guten tag. And so just- you just learned why you were at yeah. school. I, remember, I still remember the first word I learned was frog. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> oh my God. She had a book had a book in front of me and was pointing at the frog. Frog. <laughs> and I look over, frog. <laughs> when Marty gets like, when Marty's like gained weight, like in the past and stuff, he gets like a neck and shit. And I always call him Frog. And he always looks at me with just like utter hatred. hatred. <laughs> like he's like, how dare you call Don't me the call Frog? Don't call me Frog, cunt. <laughs> but that's so funny, the first and then, word. And then we'd frog. have, Rob and I would have to go home and relay what we, the words that we had learned to our parents. You'd have to teach your fucking mum and dad. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's. It's not how fucking normal households are meant oh, to would be. would have been harder for Rob, though. He's older. Yeah. Mm. Anyway. Yeah. Fuck, <laughs> man. All right. Well, last German. Here we go. <coughs> oh. Du gehst mehr ag den Keks. Oh, yeah. That's, um, <laughs> you're, okay, you're getting on my nerves is what that liter- that what that means. But it oh lit- my god, I'm German now. Yeah, no, you, you're uh, you've got the intensity right, which you is can important. Translate, and you how you, the Germans say it is: you go me, you go on, me on the, the cookie. cookie. You go me on the cookie, bitch. Did we say that one last week? Yeah, I feel like cookie. we have said this one before. We might be back to the start. Wait, what's that one? Do this. Yeah, yeah, they we're back to the fucking start. No, no, Are you I sure? Did. Because remember, I handed that. Yeah, something got fun- fiddled up and ringworm. Do kiss me off the cakes. Do kiss me off the yeah. cakes. We've done that. Something's happened. Maybe we'll just split it and go to here. I don't know. Anyway, good times. <laughs> fucking German, man. Who would now have it's thought? Christmas time. Now we're, f- we're fucking teaching everyone how to speak German on this podcast, teaching you all about science. All right. It's unbelievable. You guys you are so lucky. Huh? One of the big ones? Um, um, yeah, yeah, let's go one of the big ones. Oh, one thing I forgot to say when me and Mon were fucking... When Mon was on here, we're thinking about um, when we get married, not taking my last name because my last name's like, it's pretty out there, eh? Like, I don't want people to know that I'm not from here and I don't want to pass that disease on to Mon. So, we're considering thinking of um, a brand new name, just making one up. So, if you like, comment what you think our brand new last name should be. <laughs> I'd love to see it. <laughs> Because I'm stumped. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. I just keep making noises. Are you really going to like have your own new name? I'm thinking about it, yeah. Why not go with Mon's last name? I don't know. Because it, it would work. Because that's, that's too disrespectful to my German. 
You know what I mean? Has to be something new. With a bit of German in there? Maybe. No. Yeah, probably not. All right, anyway, it brings us to the second last segment with the PO unboxing. You guys have sent us a fucking butt fuck load of shit. We got so many gifts. We might need some scissors. So, yep, um, got them. See the bubble wrap one, dude? Yeah. That's a must one. So, we're going to try and get through like what? F- let's do three. There's Because there's one massive one in here. We'll maybe okay. get rid of well, that. Four there. Well, yeah, let's get rid of one because this is going to take ages. Like, well. Nah, because look, look at this. This will right. take like fucking yeah. two hours to open on its own. All right, if you want to send us, share, remember we open everything live on the podcast. Send us to this address, 265. Where's that from, Michael? Tagum or some shit? Anyway, it's oh, on yeah. there. All right, what do we got here? Michael's opening one. Yeah, P.O. Box two six uh, P.O. Box two five six Tagum four zero one eight. Now this is from. Fuck! Someone said on Instagram they sent us this, so thank you, Legend. But he hasn't got. He hasn't his name said on his name yet. What is it, Michael? Explain I it. I think I think it's a, a new sign for the P.O. Box because it looks like shit. Oh wait, there's a letter in here. Okay. Marty Michael, I hate Mondays, but love finishing work, coming home, and chucking on a the new news. episode of your podcast. Oh. Couldn't help myself when I heard another. What, what alt was going to make you a sign? Thanks, dude. Mm. Did you say his name? No, just oh. cheers, boys. Mm, yuck. So. He has. He did. He did send me a message, and he did. Um, this looks sick. He's from the US. Mm, dude, try this gum. It's fucking delicious. Smell it. Oh! <laughs> oh no, I know what you're going to do. <laughs> Electrocuted him. Someone says this looks like gum and then you pull the end of it and you get a fucking shock. That's so cool. No, I don't like those things. Aww. I remember I got done with the pen. Snotty nose. Look at Finally, this. Finally, look at that. Whoa. Well, we got a fucking sign. That's we got we a fucking sign. Thank we can you. fucking See, throw that shit we one out. We fucking love this. Thank you, dude. Anyway, thank you for the fake snot. Uh, Cindy, I believe, sent us this. There's something else. Sin- uh, this, what do we have here? Disappearing ink. Oh, this is cool. Ready? Watch. Boop. And then think, oh, no, you fucking idiot. You got ink on my sh- new sweater. Ju- this would be perfect on Julian. He would rage so hard. Yep. Fuck, we should probably cut it so he doesn't, yeah, yeah, cut he that. doesn't watch the podcast. Yeah, that's true. Right, it's not really disappearing, though. It's disappearing ink also from Cindy. Thank it's you, Cindy. These are some fucking cool shit. What's this? Yeah, exactly. It's a golf ball that blows up, I'm pretty sure, when you hit it. Oh, oh that's good. We should get James with that as a prank. Yeah, and then look, they, look, another little prank present. It looks white, but washes dirty. It's a bar of soap that makes you dirty when you use it, but it looks like real soap. Wow. Isn't that clever? We'll give hey? that to Julian. I reckon put that in your sink in the kitchen, right? And we will trick this shit out of someone like that. <laughs> no, it's great. And that ink is disappearing, so that works. Great. Great gifts. Thank you. Thank you for sending those in. Yeah. Excellent. All right, let's move on to this big fuck off fucking present here. Nothing to read. Nothing there. All right, Michael. Here we go. Michael's opening it now. What do you think's in there? This is from one of our... Um, this is from Nicole, a fan. She's been around for she's ages. One of our she's dearest, fucking legend. dearest friends too now. She's also German, so there you go. Does Props this go German. hand in hand with a present that Sabrina sent as well? Possibly. I think. There might be another half to it. Possibly, Martin. I, I, I don't know how to open boxes. Hey? I gotta... Oh, oh my fake God. spider on top. Very well played. All right, what do we have here? Cool sign. Oh, my God, dude. This is like a fucking German gift box. This reminds me of what my grandmother used to send me when I was a small little German girl, only seven years of age. Dude, 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 dude. These are so fucking good. These Milka Crunchy Breaks. Look at that. Yeah, they do look good. They, these are fucking, Milka is like the the German Cadbury. You have to try one, okay? I just want a bit of yours. Holy fuck. Sabrina, you fucking oh, legend. No, no, no this, this is, is Nikki on this one. Nikki, you fucking legend. Wigs for the podcasts or videos? There's wigs in there, Matt. This is going to take fucking ages oh to open. God. There's wrapping that says cunt on it. Holy shit, man. Is that mm. good? Oh, man. That is good. <laughs> Straight out of Germany. <laughs> <laughs> oh, little dicks. 
on the wrapping. Mm. Mm. What else we got? We got food. Mm. There's gummy bears. Haribo mucking up for on the fox name and so. We got a fuck ton of wigs and shit to wear for videos. Man, there's gonna be a new wig every podcast now. Oh, there's lollies. There's so many Dude. gifts. Oh my god, Nikki. Well, this is literally like a fucking box just of awesome shit. What's that? Marty, there's a letter from you as I well. I might be Matt? getting married too, Mon. Matt, letter for you. Oh. Ha 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 ha. Letter for Julian. We'll read that. A letter for me. Letter for Michael. It scares me as she says, sorry, I couldn't Whoa, resist. A rock. Is that a piece of um, concrete? That's cocaine. No, it's not. Don't yep. say that. Don't say that around me, eh? Sorry. We got some Winnie the Pooh bubbles. There's like some wrapped gifts in here as well. Oh, well, what the hell's going on? Original German cement. <laughs> Number one, Matthew, stop. Open you. when hey? you two arrives. What? Do we open this now? And all the packaging has like dicks all over it, which is what we fucking it's love. German cement. German. <laughs> oh, from the wall? Oh, it's from the wall. You know, they sell, you know, the fucking, the wall that, that divided Germany. They, they literally just take little chunks and sell it. Like, that's, smart. that's, that was on the fucking wall. That's smart. There's a piece what, of fucking history this? right there. Yeah. Bullshit. Yeah. That's what it looks like. How do you like. know it's from the wall? Because that's just what it oh, looks like. Dude. I think I've seen it before. I think, you know, how we're talking about oh, the German Updated cards? German phrases. Nikki is the one who sent in all those German phrases. She's the reason that segment even exists. We've got a UFO cow abduction with light and sound. Holy shit, man, man. What the fuck? This, this is, is like, so cool. Nah, it's not I can't from the, believe people do this. It's us. not from the German Thank wall. You, Nikki. She, she explains. Shall I read my letter? Yeah, go on. Dear Matt, I hope you hold the German concrete in honor. <laughs> It's from my backyard when I failed cementing a, a steak, I think she says. Maddie, thank you for the weekly podcast. I enjoy it so much. Also, you always reply on Instagram and you're always so patient and kind. Aww. You are the good soul of the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Besides the two crack whores. In Bogan, look at that. Yeah, okay. You're oh, a that's for Julian. You're a sick man due to your diary entries, but that's okay. It evens you out. Your laughter is the extra salt in every podcast. Please just keep. Look, I think we should maybe open all of this up. after because it's this, like yeah, yeah, Nikki, you're fucking. This is so much, Nikki. Fucking hell. This Thank is... you so much. Can you please start doing this monthly? This is up there with. This Probably is up there one. with the weed. This is up there with the weed as the best. And gift. the Valiums we got sent. That's true. Yeah, they were quite nice. Yeah, so, thank you so much. Thank you, dude. So so good. <laughs> Fucking hell. That's so much to go to. Wrapping paper. Number one. Easy, does. I can't it. stop opening shit. All right. All right. I'll do it later. Beautiful. All right. PO box. It's going to be awesome for the next few weeks. We have got a lot of shit to open, Matt. Sorry about that. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, dude. <laughs> Let's just file our last segment where we prank call. And for our final segment, we're going to do a prank call. And Dakota is going to have a crack at fucking ordering some pizzas, all right? Yes. She's a vegan, but she eats meat sometimes. She's weird. She's a confused 17-year-old. She's, she identifies as, I don't know. Look, I'm just, you'll see, all right? You'll see who Dakota is. I don't even know myself. Yeah. She's a great girl. She's a great girl, dude. Well, she's very um, thoughtful. She's very worried about all the issues in the world. <laughs> Hi, thanks for calling Domino's. How may I help you? Hey, um, I was just wondering if I could maybe like, I don't know, order like um, a pizza or something. I haven't ordered one for a while, yeah. but... Um, yeah, so do you guys have like, I'm a vegan and I've got a few allergies as well. Um, do you guys have like a menu for that or are you guys not like, um, forward thinking yet? Um, we have a vegan, um, we do have some vegan pizzas. Oh, okay. This will be good. Okay. Um, what are some of the vegan pizzas that you guys have? Yeah, uh, sorry, let me just check. Sure. No worries. Sorry, hold on a second. God. So we've got the vegan godfather. 
Um, the vegan fire breather. The, the, um, the godfather, sorry. How come you guys named yeah. it the godfather? It's like a bit um, sexist or something. I don't know. I, I honestly don't know. Yeah, isn't it? That's funny though. It's just strange. <laughs> I just thought yeah. like because of the sort of um, male dominance in society, I thought it's just a strange name, that's all. But anyway, what are some of the other ones? What's on the godfather before we continue actually? Um, so there's vegan cheese, plant-based beef, uh, capsicum, tomato, olives, um, yeah, right. Okay. And oregano. Right, okay. That actually doesn't sound too bad. Okay, so that one's winning so far. Although, I don't know if I want to order it because of the name, but um, anyway, I'll, I'll, I'll keep going. So, so, so what else do you guys have in yep, the, in the uh, vegan? So we've got the vegan beef and onion, the vegan spicy veg trio, uh, vegan margarita, the vegan cheesy garlic bread, and we... I think that's about it. Okay, and what about just like, um, like I, I do eat meat like sometimes, like every couple of months, I might have like some meat or something. Yeah. Do you guys have like a pizza that's just got like a little bit of meat on it, and like maybe just like a little bit of mint or something? Um, I mean, we can we do a thing where we put it, we can do it on lightly, so it's a little bit. Yeah, actually, that sounds oh, okay. that sounds actually like great if we could do that. Is if it we could do. Um, I'm just just quickly. Is there? Do you know if there's any GH3 hormones in the beef, or do you know how they were raised? Like, was it sustainably done, or were they um, done like in like that slaughterhouse uh, way? I'm not sure. Sorry. Um, yeah, that's like that. That should be like some information on the website about how you guys source your um, meat because it's actually um, quite devastating for the environment if you guys just like going to um, the abattoirs and that and getting the meat from there. Like, it's. Um, as I'm sure you've seen in all the reports lately, it's it's, um, it's pretty devastating to the environment. Are you aware of that? Um, I did know that, but I don't know where we get our beef from. Okay, well, maybe, like, I don't know, maybe, like, ask your, like, not right now. No, I'm not saying right now. Like, I'm not trying to be a bitch or anything. Don't ask right now. But maybe, like, after work, maybe, like, have, like, a staff meeting or something and find out, like, how the meat is got from the cow to like to you guys because if it's not sustainably done like honestly i'd probably go on a strike or something if i was you <laughs> like i've seriously right, um, it's getting that bad do you know what i mean <laughs> it's getting that yeah, bad I, uh, it, do you, would you like to order something or yeah yeah sure sorry sorry i'm getting a bit sidetracked i always tend to do that yeah, look okay. um i'll get like i'll get some uh, meat lightly sprinkled um on yeah. Um, like, let's go like a margarita pizza and like, I'm talking like, let's say like your normal amount of meat is like 10. Like I'm thinking yeah. like a sprinkle, maybe like a between a three and a four on, if you could, like, yeah. do you know what I mean? Like quantity wise, does that make sense? Like yeah, 30, I, 40%? I, I can try and do that. Yeah. 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 That'd be great. Sorry. I'm just trying to picture um, it. I'm just trying to yeah, picture it in my head. Yeah, vegan cheese and all that. Uh, no, look, I'll go, um, I'll just go normal cheese. normal cheese just for this once. Cause like, I'm just having like a little blowout session, but usually like I would never yeah. ever get cheese. Cause dairy is like, it's basically just, um, like pus, pus from, from cows, which is like so, yeah. so bad for you. Did you know that? How crazy is that? No, I did not. Yeah. It's like basically just pus straight out of a cow's tits. It's fucked. Right, um, and was that all you'd like to order? Or? Um, look, I'm thinking I'll probably have to get a drink, like, and my friend's coming over soon, um, yeah. and uh, he, she, um, probably wants some soft drink. I'm thinking maybe like, do you guys have like, you guys have like a Coke option thing, right? Like a Pepsi or a Coke or whatever. Uh, we do have Pepsi, yes. Equal Great. Um, so, so can I get like this sugar-free option of that? Sorry, I'm just like watching my figure on that. Sorry, Pepsi Max or? Yeah, yeah, Pepsi Max. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, uh, so in the in a bottle or in a can? Um, I'll get the bottle, like the big bottle, thanks. Yeah, of course. Yeah, Can yeah, no, that? that's fine. Yeah. And was this for pickup or delivery? Um, for pickup, please. I should be in. Should yeah, be. Should be in shortly. Yeah, I'll get it. Can I describe your name? My name. How come you guys need that? Um, just so we can put it in our system because I, we don't actually process our system system unless we have a name in it right or? um yes I, I don't sorry i don't really like Understood. identify with like uh, names yeah so you can just give me a letter or a number or anything okay well how about i just give you a sound like a sound or something because i don't really feel comfortable like with the privacy laws and all that like i don't really feel comfortable giving my personal information away and like yeah i don't really identify with names do you know what i mean like i don't actually feel like i have one does that make sense like i was yeah, given um, one but i don't really feel like i have a name do you know what i mean I can, I, sure you can, but I'm, okay. Yeah, so I'll have, um, this is the sound I want you to record. And then when I come in, I'll just make the sound and you'll know it's me. Okay. Um, we, we can't actually 
actually record anything due to privacy. Can you like just like try and remember it or something? Because I really don't feel comfortable you writing down my details. Does that make sense? Um, I can put down Does a that make sense? mark. Okay, yeah, question mark. That's perfect. But like, okay, make sure it's that. like a feminine question mark though. Like, I'm, I'm not all about this masculinity in society. Don't do that. Do you know what yeah, I mean? that's all good. Yeah, okay, great. So how much is that? How much are you going to charge me for this? Um, so it just comes to tell us fourteen dollars fifty. Okay, and pick up and who will I be picking it up from? Do you know? Um, is it uh, equal it's, boys and girls? It's, uh, you just can come up to the front counter and we will just give it to you then. It's, well yeah. yeah, but will it be like a boy or a girl, do you know? Uh, I don't know. It just depends on who's free at the moment. Okay, so there's boys and girls working there, is it like equal yes, there are. so boys yeah. and equal boys and girls? Is that like all the time? There's equal there's equal amount of women and men working there. Um. Well, it depends. Sometimes there are more women. Uh, okay. So and sometimes that's there are so. More males. Of course, there is because it's a low paying job and the pay gap is just so stupid. Can you believe that? Uh, Can you believe yeah, the pay gap? How stupid it is! Oh my god, I don't even have a name anymore. That's how off grid I am right now. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, of course. Um, yeah. So, was that all good or...? Um, look, I'm going to have to get back to you, okay? Because I don't know if I want you writing down um, the question mark. Can you just cross that out, please? Just cross out that question yeah. mark. Um, and look, I'll have to s- chat to my friend um, when he, she gets here because um, this has been sort of a pretty offensive phone call. If you don't... Like, I know I'm being a bit like bitch, but like you were being pretty offensive, like asking me for my name and not even knowing I'm, how your meat is... Look, just, is like, this is my job. I'm sorry if you don't like it, but I can't help it. I can't. I can't you are raising your voice at me right now, and that is real. I'm because shaking. I'm shaking right now. For no reason. You are like I'm literally shaking right now. Okay. Or all I asked was where how your meat is sustained. Like how yes, how you guys I told get that. You I didn't know. And the environment is fully suffering right now. <laughs> 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 fucking bitch oh yeah dude she was very very offensive yeah that was the rudest Domino's call I've ever had eh a <laughs> 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 fucking bitch hey you tested her patience <laughs> I fucking hate that bitch <laughs> I just wanted to jab you so many times dude <laughs> <laughs> she got so over it by the end oh, she, yeah. How do you not know that that's a fucking prank call? I'll tell you how It's because some people are like that now Yep, that's correct Anyway, that's fucked <laughs> Fuck you, man Fuck you, man I would ne- If I worked, I would never take an order over the phone I'd say, order it on the internet <laughs> she, she was like, I'll write down a question mark Yeah, no. <laughs> I, I wish she would have taken your sound like, Yeah, I know You could be like, oh shit, sorry, that one's a bit too racist Oh shit, sorry, that one's a bit too sexist Which is like a really loud scream or something I would have maybe done Or something like that It would have been so funny <laughs> What a great podcast it's been Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. It must come to an end <clears throat> So Anything on for next? I don't know. Me and Michael and Julian are going to fucking. We you, should. While you're listening to this, crossed, we would be they'll, leaving. They'll, no, they'll be, you'll be leaving the next day yeah. to go to New Zealand, right? Fucking get but up, you can't. Probably not with the whole ringworm yeah. ring, if you know they'll what I mean. Probably leave and spend two weeks in a hotel, come back, spend another two weeks yeah. in a hotel. It could be fun. Oh my God. Yeah, true. With Julian. This wig is so shit, eh? <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, right. fucking get around it. Fucking don't forget to comment. I know some of you can't subscribe to the website. We know it's all good. I wouldn't subscribe to us if I was you. But you know what I would do? I'd comment the word comment or the best. I'd, I'd push the like button. I'd subscribe if I haven't. And I'd tell someone. Maybe I'd be share like, man, you bit. should listen to this. Even if they say you are fucked for listening to this. Which- I'd always show you shit I found funny. Yeah. That's- like, it's the same shit. You it's, show your friends. You just spread it around because YouTube doesn't show us that we need, we're relying on you guys, right? So YouTube doesn't show our shit to anyone. Yeah, it's getting silly. So, You're right? But yeah. we are still the, the best. best. We're, we're the, the best. best. We're the, the best. best. We're the, the fucking best, best Matt. The Say best. it with us. We're, we're the, the best. best. We're, we're the best. best. We're the best. Matt! We're the best. We're the best. We're the best. We're the best.